Hello, welcome to Straw Family Farm Take 2. I'm Christy. Today in the chapel we have 1 John 4 19. We love him because he loved us first. Of course, it's Valentine's Day, or yesterday was Valentine's Day. Oops, sorry. Uh, but yeah, just I need to work on being calm. But I couldn't find a good Bible verse that, you know, about calming my heart, calming my mind, and just, I'm just, ugh. so, yeah, I said that. <laughs> All right, so we're going to get right on into it so I can get back to some normalcy. And I've got a couple of things I want to talk to you guys about. Um, totally hooked. I don't have anything. You guys know that I finished that one uh, shawl. And so, and I'm concentrating more on uh, spinning and dyeing this year. So I do have, I have been working on, I have a couple of new things I want to discuss with you and kind of get you guys' opinion. So yeah, I'm going to ask for comments on this one. Oh. Um, so I have made it this far, slowly but surely, it's getting there. Um, and you may not even see a difference, but there's probably that much new um but yeah and i'm getting down getting down there you can see through it but yeah it's getting there like i said it's not mindless and i have to pay attention i did have to rip out like two rows because i started on the wrong row not because i did it wrong because i did it but i was on the wrong row so the pattern didn't come together it makes triangles uh, or diamonds i'm sorry diamonds and I got up here and some of the diamonds were missing the center row. I was like, oh no. So it looked like squares. Yeah. It happens. You know, you don't pay attention to what you're doing. Um, so I've got that one I'm working on. And then I decided it was time to do something with the yarn that you guys saw me spin and dye. And I made it purple. And it's actually working out pretty good I am using some stitch markers because I'll show you why here in a middle minute but it is definitely see there it looks gray if I bring it closer maybe it'll look it has more of a purpley red hue there maybe that it's not so gray in that it's very pretty it's dark purples and let's see if this will do it it's not that gray guys I promise it's more red I was wondering if I had something that I could put, you know, to kind of show the color, but it doesn't really make it change. It's a reddish, There, there's no gray. It's pink and white. It, the whitest part is even a pale pink. So I'll work on trying to get some better pictures of that. Um, but for now, so let me show you what I drew out and what I'm hoping to have enough to do. Um, I have this pattern right here and as you know I just measure and make not always a pattern needed so I measured across 28 inches and then you can see here I scribbled out how many stitches to make 28 and then I did it so it's not really 28 and I will go back and modify what I do and write what I actually ended up doing um, but this part right here is going to be open and not stitched together it will go in and then I'm going to silhouette it a little bit. I'm tired of having, I'm a little heavy set, but I do have a little bit of a waist, but all my clothes just hang and make me look frumpy. So I'm trying to make it with a little bit of a silhouette so that maybe it'll make me look like I have some curves. Um, yeah, so I'm also still working on losing weight. So I've lost a little bit, but not not enough that I think anybody can tell so anyway so I'm gonna do that and I want to take it down to 25 but I have modified this so that number will change too I want it to be longer so I'm thinking 30 inches is what I measured down from the top of my shoulder but we'll see when I get it that length it may be too long so um, this is just my idea with me and a measuring tape okay I'm going to make a square back, just straight square, and it's going to have the little indent for my neck because I don't like things that come in straight across. Um, the front will have a little bit deeper, and 
this eight inches right here may have some kind of trim pattern. That's what that is right there. That's this right here is what I figured for trim pattern. And it may be rounded. I just did it because I had graph paper, so I did it square. But I don't know. I will write down exactly what I do as I do it after I rip out if I don't like it, if that makes sense. So all of this will be done normal, but I don't really have, um, and these up here will change because this down here has changed. So I'm literally crocheting and then holding it up to me, crocheting and holding it up to me, and we'll, we'll see how it goes. Right now, I think I've got 15 rows in, and where these markers are, I have decreased by just crocheting one together, except for the center. This is my center, um, just because I wanted it to match. So I counted stitches, and that's the center stitch. So I want them to be perfect. It's just a way of double checking. So, yeah. And this one, oh, is about to pull out my double crochet, my stitch together. I don't know where my hook is oh no okay I'll have to be really careful with that but anyway you can see it's coming off and this is where I might just lower it down a row so that I don't lose because that one's obviously coming out um I'm fixing it before I lose it so I've lowered it down to this row so that I know that should be a decrease right there and that's what I had done was the decrease in one and now it's coming out so anyway it's gonna be cute like I said I do want a little bit more form fitting so that I I'm just trying to feel like I have a waistline I don't know if I have a waistline or not but I'm trying to make it feel like I have one so this when I get to a point where I can take some pictures and do that I'm gonna put it up on the blog uh, and you guys can copy them recreate them it's just whatever's in my head it's not really patterns so you can read it make it your way and do whatever uh on that note i am looking for a online blog where i can just upload it i need to be able to work on it offline because i don't have um regular wi-fi i just have my phone that i turn into a hotspot. so i'm trying to find a software but free keep it I don't want to go in debt for all that but do a free software or free web page where I can write it and then just upload it then you'll get more posts from me but right now being online in order to create the post I need to be able to work on it when I'm not online if that makes sense so I need to be able to make it offline and then just upload it and let it go and that's how I do YouTube this is all done offline and then I put the little tags on and then I just tell it upload and go to bed that's what I do so that is all I have in the basket now I do have some that's ready for the die pots or off the wheel I guess we could call it um, and I've got some things to show you other things okay so this is the last of it and it is the Romney top. This is 58 yards. Um, I don't know if you can, uh, maybe too close. There we go. So I have, I don't know, two pounds. I think it was 1,400, I don't remember, 1,482 yards. I'm looking, I have all these little tags in here. This one's like 308, but I have <laughs> all these <laughs> right here. And next step is to dye them. So I don't know what colors I'm going to dye them. Some people have said blue. I kind of was thinking maybe Valentine's y, maybe some red. I don't do a whole lot with. Um, lighter colors I like deep earthy tones um so I got a chance and this is off the wall I, I don't know um 
I, these were going to go in the trash and they're stainless steel. Okay. These are actually medical trays from my office and they, the equipment broke. So we had to send it off to be recycled and then we're going to throw these away. Well, I'm thinking if I put my dye in this pan and then use this one, I honestly could make like polka dots on the white of something, but I don't know. And it's kind of making my camera go catty wampus. Um, I had to clean them up. They kind of had rust on them. If you look really close, you can see that, oh, which way? Right there. See, there's still a little bit of gunk, but I did clean them up. They looked horrible. Um, so I'm thinking if I lay it here, maybe you can see right there, there's some little gunkies, whatever, but it's clean. It's not going to come off in my dye. Um, so I'm thinking I can take this and here's a good spot where I didn't. Yeah. If I just lay it on here and then put it down in there. It's only going to let those holes be exposed to the dye. I don't know. I might actually play with this with the little 58 yards right here and just kind of play with it and see if it will make polka dots. My thing is, is that I don't want to submerge it down because then it'll just all come up, up through the holes. I just want it just right there. So I don't know if it'll work or not. Worst case scenario, I have crafting trays, you know, dyeing trays. I can use the holy one to push stuff down if I had to. So they're real worth saving from the trash, but I don't know how many use them. I have <laughs> they slide. They're loud. Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so I have visions of doing this polka dot. I watched a lady on Craftsy. And I'm not knocking it. I got a Craftsy, um, like a, a the lowest membership, for free from a friend for Christmas. It was a gift to me. And I'm okay with that. But um, I watched some of the dyeing stuff that's on there. And I wanted to, I just cringed. Sometimes they agitated too much. And you can tell they're not used to working with farm wool, <coughs> which is what she called it. Because she takes her spoon and she keeps moving it too much. And she did this little speckly thing with yellows and reds and greens on a white thing, which it made pretty yarn. Not something I would dye. But I could see doing it with earth tones, like browns and grays. and But she kept taking her spoon and wiggling it in the fiber. When you have raw fiber, that is not what you want to do. You, you leave it be. You don't agitate at all. Or you'll get little felted parts where you've agitated it. And so I just wanted to grab her and say, don't tell people to do that. <laughs> but I guess if it's just little spots, people really wouldn't notice. I don't know. Um, needless to say, I turned it off because I don't want to criticize, but a farm yarn can be felted easier than processed because they use chemicals on the processing stuff. So, yeah, I just wasn't real impressed, but I want to find a way to kind of do that. And I went out and bought this little, it's, it was like $6, but I bought this little tripod. Okay. And you flip that around like that. And then this, you, there you go. You push the button and it goes up and my camera will fit on it. Or it came with this thing, which my phone will fit on. Whoops. Like that. So, I'm going to try doing small little videos about dyeing, how I do it. There, again, there's no wrong way. So, do I say she did it wrong? Nope. Because she just agitated it a little more than my liking. And I was laughing because the lady that gave me the 
um, membership, she said the same thing. She goes, yeah, I know. She, she agitates a little too much. She goes, I wouldn't do it that much. Yeah, we probably wouldn't. But you know what? There's no wrong way. If you're happy with the end um, result, then you're good. So that's, but I am going to, and if you, there's anything you want to know, I'm going to do some spinning ones. I did a, a let's get spinning with a great wheel one time. I will try and link the old videos that I did to the new ones. They have what's called cards. I don't know that I can do it, but I'm going to try. Okay. So I am going to try and do that. They're not going to be long. They're going to be shorter. They're going to be like two and three minute videos. Um, I have a series of Tunisian ones, which I will put on there. I'm trying to get better, you guys. I'm trying to put stuff out there that you guys have asked me. And instead of typing up an email to answer you, I'm going to try and answer with a video. So if there is something you want to know, please leave it in the comments below so that I can get that topic covered. Um, I don't really have any secret secrets. I do everything from the soap making, which I am going to start making some soap so that it'll cure and I'll have it by this summer. Uh, I do, of course, crochet. Knitting, I don't consider myself good enough at. I can knit. Yes, I know how to knit. I know how to purl. I know how to increase and I know how to decrease. That doesn't make me a knitter. Okay? Just saying. Um, I even have my knitting looms here. My little ones that make hats. And I'm going to do a couple of those because people had asked me, what are you talking about? And so I'm going to just show them and show how to use them. Uh, most people I think that come here already know how and that's a, a bad assumption on me because I, I don't know really what you guys know so um, we'll see how it goes I also have the uh, wool processing one that I did for um, the festival that went virtual in 2020 and then they didn't bring it back in 2021 is it going to come back in 2022? I don't know. If it does, you know, I'll be right there teaching, doing that. It's one of my favorite festivals. Um, but the yarn shop that actually sponsored that was gone three years before 2020 happened. So three or maybe even four years. Um, so the lady was just still putting on the festival because people asked her to. Uh, but I'm going to try and link some of those things in what they call cards at the end or the beginning of the or probably the end of the video that's where I've seen them done so um, I probably will do it at the end of the video and get some playlists so that they're kind of more organized uh, but yeah I, I'm gonna try and do that there will be some spinning ones some dyeing ones if the soap is of interest to somebody I probably will do some of those again um, I have not started anything else. I'm sorry, I'm burping lunch. Uh, I have not started anything else on the wheel. I have that domestic wool that is a blend. And that's what I plan on making some of these videos with. Because I want, domestic wool is just a bunch of wool that was gathered from different sources, put together, cleaned, and, and run as one. So it can have any kind. Now they do stick to, they'll have long wool or they'll have downy wool. This is downy wool. It's not a long wool. And so it's just domestic wool. It could be from meat sheep. It could be from any uh, breed. It's just how a lot of bulk places do it. And I got my hands on two pounds of it for a very reasonable price. So, um, yeah. All right, I really, really don't have a whole lot going on. Um, we did do uh, Valentine's Day. RJ has been down. They have the truck all back together except for the timing it, letting it run and let, they're letting, when, he stayed down here till like midnight one night working on it. And he uh, got it all back together. It started up. 
but the stuff that they used to put the gaskets and hold really hold them in place had not cured so they had everything together they just wanted to give it time to cure before they brought it up to temp then they'll bring it up to temp make sure that they don't have any leaks any of that stuff and then it's done and well they're going to do an oil change on it and so yep it's done uh, so he spent that night doing that with me uh, down here. He took the next day, Sunday, and that was Friday night. And then Saturday he had a roping. And then Sunday he took and was with his girlfriend for the afternoon. And, you know, young love. <laughs> they spent the time together. Um, roommate and I just brought each other chocolate and said, here. <laughs> <laughs> um yeah hey we we didn't do anything uh it was just kind of a lazy day i started that purple thing i did some laundry i need to dust is my big thing so i need to dust but anyway so wrapping it up not a whole lot going on here uh just have that to dye and I'm going to do some videos when I dye it um, I do know that one person has asked me to do a terms or terminology video um, the one thing that confuses her is the use of the word wool and I'm gonna make one that just covers fiber terms one that covers spinning terms one that covers dyeing terms um she asked that i show go over like how i do the charts because she's having trouble reading those and she's like she'll take a picture of one and say what what stitch is this and that's fine i don't mind doing that but if i can put out a video that makes it easier for people to understand then it's and pattern charts are really easy if you understand the key and the thing is is that everybody like labels it and thinks they need the labels no they don't you need to know the height so um yeah <laughs> it's super easy if you know that the marks mean height so i'm going to explain those but they're going to be short little videos okay so I think that's all I have for today. I know it's not as long. I'm just gripey and uh, and so I'm sticking pretty much to the point. <laughs> trying not to. I'm trying to just let it all go and be calm. So um, the other thing, there was one other thing, and I can't remember if I um, actually talked much about it because nobody said anything, and that's the Crochet Land app. Um, if anybody has any experience with that, I know how I'm using it, and I think I talked about that in a thing, in a um, video, like a podcast. If you guys have any better ones than that, I would love to see them, because if not, I'm going to start the old-fashioned way. You guys know that I have that three-stack tall fiber notebook. I could start a crochet notebook so easy no <laughs> i would have a whole library of notebooks of stuff that i've done but i'm i don't really want to do that i'm looking for a more modern way uh but anyway so the other thing and i haven't decided so i'm going to throw this out there i am very anti-facebook but I know that people need um, that visual so I was thinking of just starting a page for I I'm gonna use this term loosely like Christie's crochet or something it's not gonna be called that okay there's a ton of Christie's crochet out there but just start a Facebook page that's just the fibers um, because that way you don't have to sort through everything else RJ has pretty much quit doing the farm page because he doesn't have visitors there anymore he's closed the farm to the public 
because of COVID and everything, he just, there's mandates that we would have to follow that he just, it's a lot of work. It is a lot of work. Um, and he doesn't want to get in, do I do this or do I, he says it's just easier to say no. Uh, and so he hasn't had the farm open since COVID and it doesn't look like he's going to reopen it. So he's going to do away with that page, I think. Um, I think the only reason he was leaving it up is he likes having all the pictures there. Yeah. Um, but I wanted to do something that's just my spinning and crochet. And that way you guys can follow along with it with just the thing. And then put my uh, blog posts there as well. So it would be one centralized page. But I don't know what I'm going to call it. So if you guys have any ideas of that, you know the routine. Leave me a comment. <laughs> and yes, I want to see comments today. Um, I just trying to get back to doing what I enjoy and I honestly did RJ and I had fun making those videos are they gonna be as fun without him don't know we'll try but and I didn't vlog he did so I'm trying my hand at that but I have found that that might be a place to keep all of my patterns and stuff um, in one place if that makes sense um, and be able to go back and reminisce about what I've made and what I haven't um, kind of thing and so far I just have the sweater up there I've done headband you guys have seen my little papers with all my little things on them I mean I make stuff and I don't just go search for patterns sometimes I do use patterns so I would have to be very careful about not putting up pattern stuff but I could put up finished projects um, so we'll see we will see what goes on and how it develops I'm still working on it so if you guys will leave me the comments of any videos you want to see um, little I'm calling them snippets Christy snippets <laughs> um, and just about fiber I have a list going so if I see some new topics that people are asking for I will add them to the list so all right I'm gonna get off here I will talk to y'all later. Prayers to everybody. And hopefully you have a better attitude than I do. I'm just blah. Yeah. <laughs> I will talk to y'all later. Thanks for watching.